this is Jerry Orris with World According to G. Now before we start cooking what we're going to cook today, I just want to say Happy Father's Day to everybody. And today we are going to cook mashed potatoes. So, and I absolutely love mashed potatoes. So let's look at our ingredients. A whole bunch of potatoes, a stick of butter, that's very important, and a half a cup of milk. So, the first thing you want to do is take a normal potato, here's a potato, and peel it with a peeler. So basically, how you do this is you peel it away from you. Make sure there's always a trusted adult nearby because these things are sharp. So you just peel it. Potatoes are used for a lot of things. You know, they're used for french fries, they're used for you know, mashed potatoes, they're used for that potato salad you like. And you're going to need to peel a lot of potatoes if you want to make a nice little mashed potatoes. So, when you're done peeling a bit of potato, it should look like this. Nice and colorful. That's just... So, this is Mr. Potato all nice and peeled. And you're going to put it with your rest of the potatoes. And make sure it's covered in water because the potato can get nice and squishy. Well, not nice. It's going to be gross. Um, nice and well, disgusting and squishy and yellow. If uh, oxygen gets to start, so until you're ready, you nice cook it. Make sure it's in water like this. And here's all the potatoes that volunteered to be made into a delicious mashed potato for this video purposes. So this will be a pretty nice side for my dinner. Yep, I'm making my family's dinner. Yeah, I know, I know. It's pretty nice. But, but next, we need to cook it on a stove. So speaking of doing it all alone, hey mom, can you come help me? So my mom just helped me put it on the stove. Yeah, she definitely did that. And um, now we're gonna put this little pot on it so it will boil faster and make sure you boil it on about medium temperature and it'll take about 15 minutes to boil. So now we have to wait 15 minutes and then and then I'll see you guys there. So I think the potatoes are ready. Woohoo! But just to check, we take a normal little fork, also volunteer, and then very carefully, not around the edges, do not splash. No time for a splash party today. And just stick it in there and see if it's soft. They seem pretty soft to me, but it is very hot. Remember, adult supervision. I think that's good. This is my sister, by the way. His name is Little Kitty. Anyway, back to cooking. Little Kitty, come on. Little Kitty's making sure everything's good. So, now that everything's good, we want to actually, well, rinse it. So, very carefully, we take it to the sink and basically pour the water out. So my par my parent is doing it because it's way too dangerous. So as you can see, you just pour it and with the potatoes, and you make sure you use a calendar bowl like this with holes in it so all the water pours out, but the potatoes don't. Very special. And use like a cloth or something because it is like literally burning hot. You do not want to use it with your fingers you can get burnt badly. And here is our potatoes. So, now that we have nice cooked yellow potatoes that are good, you want to put them in this bowl. Also, I forgot to tell you, make sure you always wash your hands after you do a step. Just to make sure. So, you just pour them in. Make sure... Next, we need butter, and you can see that, well, it has like little tablespoons, and we're going to need about two tablespoons. So now, we're going to use butter, the golden edible food, and you can see that has like little tablespoon, tablespoon labeling. Well, we're going to need about two tablespoons, so you just take a normal butter knife should do. Butter knife is probably not the best idea. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever. And then you just take your butter 
and put it with the yellow stuff. Then you take your half a cup of milk, the white stuff, and pour it in. Here it is. Now don't not forget the snow or or the salt. So now we're gonna actually mash the mashed potatoes. You know you gotta mash. You don't just have them potatoes. So some people use like this black thing, you no, know, to do it manually. But I'm obviously too weak for that since I'm just a little child. But then I use this. And also if you want like bumpy, like rocky mashed potatoes, you want to use this. If you want nice and cloudy mashed potatoes, you want to use this baby. So just setting on, set it on a low setting. Make sure. Let me turn off so I can get, so you can hear me. Make sure that uh, milk doesn't pour out. You don't want little, little milk. So let's get mashing. for a second so I can tell you a tip if they look too dry obviously I don't think they look too dry right now um, just pour like a tiny bit of water or milk to get them a bit more moist so let's get back to mixing so we're all done as you can see I'm just serving myself some mashed potatoes but um, you see back then my great grandmother, when I visited her, very rarely, sadly, um, she used she made me something because I wouldn't eat anything else. Yes, the stubborn me, something called well, like hot dog mashed potato cakes. Now they're not actual cakes; they're literally mashed potato with hot dog bits in it. But my God, it was so fun because she always drew little pictures in it, and it was fun. Okay, get a bit more. Okay, let me just flatten them so I, have a, so I can make a better picture. Okay, all done. So, now we have our little hot dogs and a cutting knife. So, just easily cut them. And since this is a sharp knife, you might want to have a responsible parent. This kit, very nice. Cut, cut. And there we are. Oh, well, there we go. So now that we have that, now let's draw a picture. Look away, camera. Well, bon appetit. Now that we have some extras. Hmm. Now that we have the extras, mm, pretty good. Let's have a bit of the yummy mashed potato cake. By the way, if you don't know what it is, because for some reason I'm a great artist, okay? It is a face. So. It's missing something. Ah, there it is. From salt. There we go. So guys, remember, go Red Sox. Anyway, this was Jerry Orson reporting for World of Corn Tea. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to have a nice dinner. Mmm, bye. Bye. Mm, that's good.